Welcome back to Pick Jimmy. You can call me DJ. My mic's over here. To this is the Corona Cigar of the Month Club, crinkled in your ears. Uh, basic for October. We're back to splitting the videos up, and not because of any other reason than I want to make sure I always have a video that goes out on Wednesday. So, and if I can edit these videos faster, it's more likely I'll put them out. We're gonna go through this right here. Garrick sounds like Eric. Sent us another pack from Corona. First and foremost, we're gonna grab this one right here because I know it and I love it. And honestly, probably one of the most underrated cigars I've ever smoked. This is the Zeno by Davidoff. And you know what it is? It's a better tasting, cheaper Davidoff. That's what the Zeno is right there. You can do whatever you want with information. That's all you need to know. Check out my review of this cigar. It's absolutely phenomenal. I dig this stick. Zeno, Nicaragua. The Sonata is a Nicaraguan Puro handcrafted with the finest Cuban seed tobacco. Toffee, toast, earth, espresso, and spice. I don't know why it has a different band on it. Because that is not the cigar. I don't know if it was reblended or what. If it's anything like the original, I'm going to hate it. If it's nothing like the original, it's probably great. Next cigar. I want this, this big ass 660 Avo. I want to look this thing up right here. So this is an Avo. It's absolutely, if I didn't show you the last cigar, um, you're not missing out. <laughs> Sorry, Corona. That cigar sucks. Uh, this is the Fogata. Fogata about it. A V O Fogata. Do, 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 do. All right, this is the A V O. Forgot about it. It's a fan of Casino and shit like that. The Sopranos. Whatever stereotypical shit we can um, throw at here. This is a Dominican Puro. No, it's not. It's an Ecuadorian Habano 2000 Clara wrapper. The binder is Dominican. The filler is Dominican. And its origins is the Dominican. It is a smooth synchronization of tobaccos from both Nicaragua and Dominican Republic, a combination that is both spicy, sweet, fiery with hints of coffee, leather, and the name Fogada translates to campfire. Okay, so this would have been a really cool summertime cigar, possibly, or maybe camping in the fall. Uh, yeah, I'll save this for a night while we're outside. This sounds, I mean, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. I love the look, it's beautiful, and it's like a very nice orangey band, very pretty. This sounds nice. Back pattern, bad, good, or good, bad, good. <laughs> uh, let's try another cigar I haven't smoked before. The Espiritu number three. The Trinidad Espiritu number three. Uh, I don't remember, people have told me like, hey, the number one's good, the number two is good, the number three is good. Maybe they're all good. Uh, Trinidad Espiritu number three. It's a Mexican San Andreas, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan filler. And it's medium to fill bodied. Spell check on that there, Garrick. Uh, fill bodied. Medium to fill bodied. Put a U there. Tell your web guy he fucked up. Or he copy and pasted copy from a supplier and uh, they fucked up. Either way, someone fucked up is the point. And that's all I got for you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Should I smoke one, two, or three, or all three? I have at least one of each now. I think I have two of the number threes. Let me know which one was the best, and I'll review it, because I wanted to do a Trinidad cigar for a while, and I just haven't. One, two, or three, which is the best one? I think two's Brazilian. Number two was Brazilian. I'm probably going to smoke that one, because I love Brazilian tobacco. Next up, we have something by Caldwell. I think this is The King is Dead. If it's the dead one, The King is Dope. Yeah, The King is Best Dead. That was my video. Check out my video on this. It's The Caldwell, The King is Dead. Um, Long Live, The King is K. The King is Dead is good from what I remember. Um, Caldwell, The King is Dead. The reason I said the, the video title is The King is Best Dead or something like that, or that's what the thumbnail says, but yeah. I remember I smoked this one first, and then I smoked the actual, the Long Live the King, and I was like, oh, no, no, no. The King is Dead's better, from what I remember. Yo, I'm clicking on these. Okay. So the King is Dead is a Negrito wrapper. Binder is Corojo. 
and filler is Dominican. Spice chocolate with hints of earth and wood. Yeah, that sounds bomb. The King is Dead cigar, the mild milk chocolate taste that soon turns to bolder coffee and spicy flavors. Sweetness throughout. Oh. The King is Dead cigars are made with a rare Corojo and Negrito binder. And filler is from Dominican Republic. So is it a is it a Corojo? Is the wrapper Corojo Negrito and the binder is Corojo Negrito? Because your your description says strength, medium to full, wrapper, negrito, binder, corojo. So again, whatever y'all need to do there. And this last one, I can't give you guys any information on it. It's wrapped in like newspaper, which I know Zeal does, which is, I don't remember what it's called. Is that just the Cuban way of doing things? I can't remember. They, they list it on their website, Zeal does. They tell you why, I don't remember. DJ from a future video here. Hi, you can't tell I changed clothes. Um, the cigar that's wrapped in the newspaper, I'm assuming it's the Corona Cigar Barrio. Sorry, Barrio Blend. It's a Habano wrapper, binder is Nicaraguan, and filler is Habano. I forgot yet this little card. Uh, and it is, Barrio means neighborhood in Spanish. Like a tight-knit community, cigars bring people together. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, um, presented in rustic new paper wrapping to make it feel like you belong in the barrio, I guess. Anyway, the cigar itself is subtle with nutty sweetness, creamy mouthfeel, coffee, spices, and cedar, which sounds quite nice. I'll probably smoke that one later today just for fun in the backyard. Anyway, back to the other video and me looking slightly different. Smells like hay. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a, it's a Cubanesque cigar. I have no idea, but it smells like hay, like that sweet, tangy hay. A lot of hay. It smells nice. But anyway, this is the Corona Cigar Club for October. This is the basic, if I call it the premium, I'm, I apologize, this is the basic. This is the regular. I'm gonna try and get these cigars in order. Sorry, it's early, but this is what you get. Yeah, pretty cool. That Zeno is dope. The Avo I'm looking forward to. The Trinidad sounds good. The King is Dead is a solid cigar. I'm looking forward. No, I'm looking forward to. That's a, I'm not gonna lie. I will try this and I will see if it's any better. I don't know if it is. It'll be a short though. Anyway, dope. Thank you so much, Corona. Appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel uh, or not, but either way, uh, Hound Dog dropped out. So all you got is me, bitches. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. I'm going to shoot the premium next. There going to be two different videos. Uh, DJ, PJ, all that shit. Comment section down below if I should review any of these cigars. Is If you have had this Avo, honestly, this is the one I'm most interested in right here. This Avo. It looks so pretty. It sounds like a nice fall cigar. Let me know if you guys want me to review this. It's a 660. It's my favorite size. Let me know. I'll probably review it even if you guys say it's terrible. I love y'all. Not really. In like a... What's it called? Is it agape? Christian people, whatever the two types of love is. Brotherly love and sisterly love, if you got those parts. That's how we're gonna end it. And as a reminder, please follow me over on Rumble, TikTok, and Instagram if you have them. Links are in the description down below. Just in case things ever go belly up here on YouTube, we wanna make sure the bushel stays together.